Hello, brothers and sisters. I'm like, I know. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my Facebook account. I come and say, I try to keep it down. I know you get under 10 minutes. It goes over 10 minutes. I'm very bothered and bored because everything I say is fucking important. What is this? This is grain. I eat a lot of grain. In. Fiber is very important for your system. If you have comments, suggestions, questions, okay. or answers, just put it down below. If you don't know me by now, you just look up my past videos. I have tons of tons of videos that are comical, through common sense, and also through research. And I try to keep it down from the technicality so people can't understand me. I don't like the fact that when people can't understand me, because they have that thing, they have that problem with communicating with a whole lot of liberals in life. And I try to like don't don't talk too sophisticated. It makes me seem like an educated Negro, I and mean, it's best for me to be. You know, use Ebonics and keep it down so people can understand you like uh, um, um, uh, President Obama. Okay. But um, I think I'm more funnier than President Obama. <laughs> so it really doesn't matter. <laughs> but anyway, I digress here. Um, this video um, is uh, to know or not to know. That is the question. Well, I have arguments with people on Facebook. All of the fucking time. And I have gotten banned many times for bringing up the topics with scholars. And I try to go against a little bit above my pedigree to talk to people who think they know everything. And then I talk about scientific biasism. Then I talk about people who, uh, uh, um, who just basically have no argument. They just have no argument. Like um, a great example. Oh my God, I can't believe the fucking phone is ringing. Let me see. Don't touch. Get away. Let me see. Yes. I know, but here she go. No, go in there. So, this is pertaining to um, the theory of everything. Because um, when you talk about science and stuff, you can uh, take every aspect of all sorts of aspects of all sorts of aspects and even things that you cannot see and everything you cannot think to possibly understand. I see some scientists I've talked to in my past and I said that, you know, don't you understand that there are things that we can't see when we, when we create something and do things? Okay. Um, like ether. We can't see ether, but the white man's are, in the 1930s, the white man found out to put tubes on a, a plane. And they know how to create it rain. They know how to create rain in different areas that have never rained before. Okay, which is pretty interesting. Okay, but you look that up yourself. Look up the ether. Okay, look up the discovery of ether. Okay, but they ain't gonna tell you everything. But the only thing they're gonna show you is tubes. Okay, but there are things that we can't see. Just like cats can see things that we can't see. So you have to understand discoveries. Living in the matrix, we are in the matrix. God damn it. Okay, I don't need to prove it to you. You watched the movie already. I think everyone watched that goddamn movie. I said, hey, you know, what if the Matrix is real? Okay. I said, hold on. What? Yeah, yeah, I'll talk to you later about that. Tell, tell them, uh, what? What? Yeah, yeah. What, what about him? Yeah, yeah, it's already done. Oh, I'm so tired. I need Okay, making assumptions. Making assumptions is not wise. I need It's basically to say that it's a possibility, okay? And I tell people this, and even atheists, I say atheists all the time, I say I have no argument with you. Do you believe in the possibility of a spaghetti monster? Just say that. Don't, 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 don't say, is there such thing or something like that. Don't say that. You, know, you can say that. You can say that. Is there such thing? As, the, the best answer is possibly. In another dimension, time or space. Yeah. You know. But, you know, that's agnostic side of the thinking. Atheists are not supposed to think that. Because I already told you this before. Atheists are supposed to believe. They don't have a belief in God. They don't have a belief in aliens. They don't have a belief in nothing, okay? Anything that's like supernatural or fantasy and shit like that. They don't believe in other realms and shit like that. Just ask them the question. If they say possibly, then they'll come. It doesn't matter how small percentage. It doesn't matter. But um, that's all I wanted to say about this, okay? To know or not to know. You don't know the answer, okay? Like some guy told me, okay, how do you know we ain't living underwater? Okay, maybe we're not living underwater. I, maybe we the flat earth theory, okay? Oh, yeah, that's what it was. The flat earth theory. He was talking to me about flat earth theory. I said, who cares about the flat earth theory? I don't care about that. Okay, whatever. What about the sun going around? I don't care about that either, dog. You don't know that. What if it's just an daddy, illusion? I don't want for you. Be quiet. I don't want for you, daddy. Oh, be quiet. What if 
it's all an illusion? What if it's a proje proje uh, projection of an image from outside the bubble? What if I told him that? Can't you actually... You're not playing any more games. I told you to be quiet. Quiet. Okay. What if there are alien beings outside of our bubble, okay, and they are using illusion as a, a way of keeping us inside of the trap illusion of this world, okay? Have you ever heard anything of David Icke, okay? Zachariah Ascension, uh, Cherry of the Gods, uh, David Ben uh, Daniken, okay? Cherry of the Gods, okay? Please understand that you have to have an open mind. You can't argue with someone who's talking about speculation and possibilities and probabilities. That's it. To know or not to know. You don't know the answer. Trust me. 99% of the time, you don't know the answer. So if you come to me and say, okay, what? how do you know about them people who are on TV? How do you know if they're real or not? I say there's 99% chance there is not likely, it's not likely happening. It's just an illusion. Okay, we are we're inside your house and you see something on TV. That's not real to me. Okay. All right, that's not real. It's only real if you're actually there. Now, if you have a friend who's there and you actually meet the friend, the friend could probably be a liar. Okay, probably could make up stories. You don't know that answer. It's like in the court system. In the court system, they go by speculation, the benefit of the doubt. Okay, they don't go by evidence. They go by hearsay, and that's wrong. Okay, that's why we need cameras everywhere. If you go somewhere, you need to be tracked. You got a tracking device on you. They say you was you was actually here. And then how do you know that possession is not real? How do you know that? You don't know the answer. I'm telling you, guy. Okay? You don't know the answer. There's a lot of people who say, oh, I believe in God. I believe in God. I believe in God. I say, why do you believe in God? How do you know if there's a God, okay? You're making a theory. The theory of everything, okay? Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure someone made the book about the theory of everything. I'm pretty sure I heard it about the book. I probably read it a little bit and didn't finish, finish continuous and read it. Everything is an illusion. And the only time there's not an illusion is if you're actually there. Anything you hear on the media or on the news to be technical, you don't know about it. You don't know about DNA. You don't know about the filament in the light bulb. You don't know about that. Let's just break it down and you look at it yourself. And you did the experiments. You have to. You have to. I'm telling you, you have to do the experience yourself. You can't talk about, oh, you know this because of the scientific community. How do you know if the scientific community exists? You don't know that answer. Okay? All right. Peace and love to you, brothers and sisters. I'm getting disturbed now. Getting too much distractions around. The theory of everything. To know or not to know. You can't go against a philosopher like me. You can't do that. Okay? Because you'll be de you'll be debated and you'll be depleted. <laughs> You're just wasting your time. I'm just trying to keep it simple. There's a possibility for everything. You in front of me. If you stand in front of me, you still may not be a real person. You may be an alien ship shafter. How would I know? I don't know. Okay. From my perspective, from my ID, I don't know anything. Like Socrates said it best. As the wisest man is what he does not know. I, I'm not saying it the right, correct way. His quote, he said that uh, the wisest man is usually someone who knows nothing. There you go. You don't know the answer. All right? So when you say you think you're the, the best lawyer in the world, you don't know that because you've never been all across the world. Like, like when I talk to women, they say, how you know that 70% of the world's women are? I'm just making a speculative, educated guess. Okay, it's, it's, even though it may be wrong, I'm just taking an educated guess. Everybody goes on educated guesses. When you read a book, it's called an educated guess. Okay? Opinions turn into fact. When a group of conglomerates, people get together, I don't care who they are, they create a book and people start believing it. Just like people believe in the Bible. Just like what I say, I say it's a fact. If I say it's a fact, it's a fucking fact. Even though I never experienced it, I'm 100% of the people in the world. All right? Peace and love to you, brothers and sisters. Welcome to my page. You know I make a lot of motherfucking sin. Don't try to go against me with that bullshit. And then when I tried to say, I said, I just answered your question. And then they still say, that's not answering my question. I'm like, I don't need to see 100% of the people to understand what the statistical algorithm is. Okay? Even though I'm not there. Okay. Peace.